just like the majority of them in the game. Then you'll see a cutscene of the final of the final boss taking taking Karahuma Karahuma away. Now for the final stage. There is no stage, it's just a two-part boss battle. The screen will scroll forward like this as he zooms up and down. The, there are fireballs which will track your every move until you get rid of them or until they scroll off screen themselves. And for every one that you get rid of, he will spawn another one. So you could, ev you could either ignore or get rid of the fire at your leisure, but they will show up. And along the way of the auto scroller, there are small hearts that you'll be able to get to replenish your health if need be. And all you basically want to do is hit him as close as possible. He'll be momentarily stunned. And you also want to watch your footing as you cross those platforms. If you can stay as close as possible and stun him, then he'll barely have a chance to utilize... He'll barely get a chance to scroll to the bottom or top of the screen. So now that the first portion of, the, of it is done, the screen will continue to go to scroll right without the boss until there's no more platform for you to walk on. So now you have to utilize these bullet bills as your only platforms or fall below to the spikes. If you fall below to the spikes, you can't pogo on those because they're really they're just extremely tall. And the only way you can get rid of this boss is with using your projectile. Now, it's worth noting that if you do fall to the spikes, you can recover, but you have to hope that there's a low enough bullet bill, which will shoot out of the number 3 slot for you to jump to before you lose a life or a game over, depending on your life situation. So just take your time, watch your footing while jumping, fire, and fire at him. And once he's done, that's GG, and that's Kid Nicky 3.